little recap on some trades I took today and some that I would have taken. It is important that even if you don't trade or even if you don't take every single trade, that you still review the charts and see which setups you would have taken. So, with all that being said, we started the session here today, 9.30. We had a continuation from last uh, Friday's close. Now, I personally, for Mondays, don't trade the first 30 minutes. So I did miss this rip up from this BF here that we have, this broader information. We came up, hit the profit box, kept on ripping up, rejected off these BFs here, this four hour and this, yeah, both these four hour BFs. Now, the first trade that I took was this two up right here. This was a TTO uh, trade. So a TTO, for those who don't know, they're just a simple pullback or corrective activity before a move in the same direction. Now, one thing that I usually notice for these, because I tend to see people love to short these moments, if the one hour is in the direction, the four hour is in the direction, personally, I wouldn't be shorting any of this so since the one hour and the four hour were green i'm simply looking for corrective activity or pullback so i can get in on the ride now i entered here and i exited right here took a nice little yep 10 points took that now personally for me my goal for the day is 10 points. However, since we did have a strong day today, I stayed on the charts for a little longer while supporting my group. Another potential entry, this one I did not take. I had to step away for a little bit during this time. After we got this initial move up and completed the TTO, had some uh, sideways movement, continuation up. More continuation to the upside, pullback, this three two up I could have taken that to this bf here the next one that i took was this two and two up so for this one my target was the top of this bf at 40 50. for those who do trade the strat you know that you're supposed to trade from <clears throat> uh, bf to bf as your targets of course if you use fibs like i do or some people use f um ICT concepts, you know, whatever works for you, definitely use that. Um, but yeah, in this case here, I entered on this inside bar break to the upside. We did pull back and form a shooter. Now my stop was right under this candle right here. So if we did pull back, that would have been my stop. As you can see here, next bar, we ripped up, kept on pushing. Came up, again, failed, came back down, produced a three, or rather produced a two, which failed. Then they brought it back up, turned it into a three, gave another push up, hit the target, finished. And that was my last ES trade for the day. Took a little 19 points on that one. I didn't take any of these um, personally. I tend to stop trading once my daily profit is hit. However, since looking at the overall picture, here we have on ES, similar to the TTO that we had on the smaller time frames that I showed you guys earlier, we had a big move up, corrective activity, uh, reversal to the upside. Now, the first target, of course, to complete the TTO would have been 40, 35, 75, which we hit. And then we kept on pushing up to 450. That's why that was my target, or my next target anyway. After entry on this 2 and 2 up. So the TTO was completed on this candle right here <clears throat> from the 4 hour. 
So we kept on moving up, take profit there, and then I just stopped for the day. I did come back later, however, on NQ. Was right over here. So usually, well not usually, basically always, as a general rule of thumb, I don't look to counter trend trade if the hour is not in the direction of the counter trend. For example, uh, right here, we triggered, we finally gave a reversal on the one hour at 1430. So after we triggered down, actually, let me mark this so it can be a little easier for you guys to see. Bear rev is just bear, uh, bearish reversal. So right here, once we broke this and did this 212 down on the five minute, this would have been the one hour reversal. Now, I did not trade this. This would have been a solid trade right here. Beautiful H pattern right there. Would have entered on this break right there. The next one that I would have definitely took was this continuation down. We get the break, complete the H, pull back, reject off the BF, inside bar, take it down. Boom, to the next BF. However, what I took after we got this pull back up I had a short open right here at, nine, at 11, 19, 12, and I took it off at uh, this BF here, 11, 890. Beautiful trade. Um, usually, I don't necessarily like to trade in between made a lot of BFs like this, but the opportunity was there, so I took it. And for those who trade ICT, we had an FVG here on the five minute. So we rejected there. I took the short on this candle here, 11, 9, 12. I took it down to this BF here. And then they ripped it back up. So yeah. Those are just some trades that I took today. Amazing day. Um, another reminder for all of you listening to this, don't fight the trend. As, as I'm sure a lot of you have heard, the trend is your friend. As a general rule of thumb for myself, if the one hour, four hour is in one direction, I'm not going to be counter trending on lower time frames. I'm going to be looking for a trade to get in on the current trend. So for example, one last go around for ES. If you do like to trade as, as soon as market opens, you had an entry here, another one right here, another one here on the break of this three up, another one here on this inside bar. Those are all great trend trades. Hope all of this helped you guys. Any questions, put it in the comment below, and I'll be happy to answer. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Later.